Wow, for a Chinese knockoff, this Ally Express new Nintendo Switch Joy-Con looks pretty official, but there are some noticeable differences and I got curious, will these work in the real Jinx or the Uzu Nintendo Switch emulator for PC? And also, did we just get a pair of really good Joy-Cons for 40 bucks? Let's take a closer look. These Ally Express Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons look pretty official. Notice the difference? Come a little closer. Notice the difference now? Before we get into comparing these to the official Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons, let's take a closer look at the quality. The build quality feels pretty decent. Plastic is pretty sturdy and similar to the official Switch Joy-Cons. The official Joy-Cons are about 5 eighths thick and just shy of 4 inches long, which seems to be the same with the unofficial Joy-Cons from Ally Express. More than likely, they used the same mold or made a complete replica of the original shell. Taking a look at the shell, you might notice there isn't a Nintendo logo like there is on the official Joy-Cons and these Joy-Con replacement Zelda shells. So I guess a Chinese brand finally decided to play nice. You can check out the Switch Joy-Con housing replacement fiasco via the card at the top of the screen or the link in the description down below. Action buttons seem to be the same size but seem to have a solid click over the official softer click and the same could be said for the rest of the buttons on the Joy-Cons. The home button is slightly bigger, the analog sticks are a little smaller on the Ally Express Joy-Cons versus the official and seems like the official sticks just might be a little bit more sturdy. Also seems like the officials click back to the center just slightly faster. I'm gonna be taking these apart and testing them in the Uzu Nintendo Switch emulator for PC, so consider sticking around. Connecting them to the Switch seems no different than the officials. Attach them to the rails and they're paired. Yeah, it's pretty much that simple. At first, I thought these Joy-Cons had the same issue most Chinese Joy-Cons have, a hit or a miss on whether they charge, but seems like they don't charge while attached to the Nintendo Switch without the plug and they charge rather slowly. I now want to test Drift. Didn't know if there's a better way of doing this other than going into the settings, controllers, and calibrate controller sticks. Personally, I didn't notice any drift while moving around the circle, but who knows what might happen over time, and if I experience any of those shenanigans, I will leave an update on the WeDeem Gaming Group on Facebook, as well as the WeDeem Twitter account. While I was at it, I also wanted to test the controller's input and make sure that all the buttons were mapped correctly, so I used the test input device option in controller settings and everything seems to be functioning okay. Wanted to play a few types of games to test all controllers and the first being Hunt Down, a 2D run and gun platformer. This was mainly to test the D-pad combination with the action buttons and I didn't notice any lag. The FPS I chose was Bulletstorm and that was simply just because it was what was on my Nintendo Switch at the time of filming this. And whereas the Ally Express Joy-Cons did work, I started to notice a really big difference from the official Joy-Cons. Maybe it's just me, but the official Joy-Cons analog stick just feels more solid, smooth, comfortable, and dare I say I experience more feedback. The Chinese Joy-Cons just feel cheap and kind of slip, whereas the official seem to grip and follow your fingers. Also, the vibration is way better in the official, and there were times where a new vibration should have been going on, but just wasn't happening with the cheap Joy-Cons. Last game I wanted to play was Mario Party to test the motion controls. For the most part, the motion controls seemed to be responsive, but at times I thought it might have a lag. Now this could be because I just suck. So I ran a test for the official controllers and yep, my suspicions were correct. I suck. Got a ton of questions on my video of the last Chinese Joy-Cons I tested. Will they connect to PC and work in the Yuzu or Uzu, whatever, however you say it, Nintendo Switch emulator? As for those Joy-Cons, you can click the card at the top of the screen or the link in the description to check that video out. Now this is where it got a little tricky. I got the right Joy-Con attached to my PC via Bluetooth and then was able to test it in the Uzu emulator, but for some reason the left Joy-Con 
would not go into pairing mode. At this point I was confused, thought I had discovered that the Joy-Con was only getting power when attached to the Nintendo Switch, which like I said before is common with Chinese Joy-Cons, but I was able to pair it to the Switch and use it wirelessly. At this point this is a fail for connecting these to the Uzu emulator on PC, only because the left wouldn't go in the pairing mode, but I was able to pair the right yellow one and my official Nintendo Switch left Joy-Con and play some Doom. Wait, is that Drift? Well now it's good, and that was definitely the first time I experienced that. Also, let's talk about this being a $2,500 laptop with a GTX 3070 and a Ryzen 9 processor. There is still a ton of slowdown here in the Uzu emulator. Just buy a Nintendo Switch. Wow, the Chinese AliExpress Joy-Con Eternals look really similar to the official Nintendo Joy-Cons. Smaller, cheaper Chinese battery and the vibration motor is bigger on the official, if that's even a vibration motor under that black foam, but that would explain the weak vibration feedback. The ZL button has the same dual spring mechanism and the rails look identical. If you'd like to see a full teardown, take a look at the main board on the AliExpress Joy-Cons. Let me know in the comments down below. So what do we gather from all that? If you're buying these to just be a cheap pair of extra Joy-Cons to add to your Switch arsenal, they're gonna work really well. However, if you're buying these to use them in the Uzu Nintendo Switch emulator for PC, you're gonna have some issues and you're probably gonna be very, very disappointed. Now my left yellow Joy-Con might just be defective and you might get lucky and get a fully working one, but is it really worth the risk? Now they might be cheap, but they still cost 40 bucks. If you bought a pair of Chinese Joy-Cons on AliExpress and they worked in the Nintendo Switch emulator, let us know in the comments down below. I'm going to be picking up a different pair of Nintendo Switch Joy-Cons from AliExpress and testing them in the Uzu emulator and seeing if I have some different results. So if you're interested in that, you know what to do. If you're interested in these joy oops. If you're interested in these Joy-Cons, the tools that I use to create these videos, or connecting with the We Dean Gaming channel on social, all links are in the description down below. As for now, I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, instead of staring at my ugly mug, why don't you go ahead and check out one of our other videos? One, two, I'll wait. My busted face ain't going nowhere.